Well, over the last two days, players have been asked about Georgia voting. Rory's taken on a leadership role on the PGA Tour in recent years, and Rory, along with Cameron Champ, the only African-American in the field, shared their thoughts on the issue. I have to be respectful and somewhat careful about what I say, as I'm not a citizen of this country, but I certainly, um, I think all great countries and democracies are built on equal voting rights and everyone being able to get to the ballot box as easily as possible. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's all I can really say on it. I, I think, I thought the PJ Tour put out a great statement um, at the start of this week about it all. Like we, as a PJ Tour member and as a golfer, you know, we go to a lot of different communities and I think we, you know, obviously the Tour Championship is, is in Atlanta, but I think what the PJ Tour have done with the East Lake Foundation and, and the the rejuvenation project that's happened in that community in Atlanta has been a, a wonderful thing that the PGA Tour has been involved with. So, um, yeah, look, I'm I'm all for getting people to, to get out and vote and, and, and to have a great democracy. And, and you know, I've, I've chosen to live in this country because I believe this country is the best country in the world. So, and, you know, I, you know, America is the land of opportunity and it's, you know, you, you know, it's the American dream I and mean, you work hard, you get rewarded. Um, so I believe in all that stuff and, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm all for people being able to, you know, to have the right to vote and to be able to do it in the, the easiest way possible. Given your economy, you talked about it. There's a lot of debate in Georgia about the starting ball calls for the Masters to six. I mean, I would think so. Um, you know, again, I think a lot of people is very disappointed to see that. Um, as you can tell, it's, you know, it really targets, um, you know, certain black communities. It makes it harder for them to vote, which to me is everybody's right to vote. So um, to see that was very uh, shocking. And obviously with MLB and what they did moving the All-Star game was a big statement. Um, and I know there's a bunch of other organizations and companies that have moved things, but, um, Again, you know, this is a prestigious event, and I know there's a, a lot going on with it and, and the people involved with it. So, um, but again, yeah, it was definitely a little bit frustrating to see that. And this week, I'll definitely be supporting and doing some things throughout the week. Do you talk to politics and all of that apply, or is that something you try to avoid? No, I try to avoid that at all costs. I just. <laughs> I think with anybody, even family, we will start fighting. So, um, yeah, that's just, a, again, everybody has their own personal opinions and rights. So um, just because you might have a different, or you or whoever it may be, might have a different opinion than me doesn't mean I don't like you or, or I dislike you. So it's, you know, when, when people start talking politics, that's when things get really sticky because um, people get their feelings hurt or they don't agree with my opinion. But, um, you know, for me, I just try to just stay out of that. And, um, again, when for certain subjects, whether it be equality or justice, stuff like that, I'll definitely speak up. But as far as politics, I try to stay out as much as I can. So, so talk about the range is more likely to be about the flex of the shafts. The, the thing that yeah, but yeah, and again, you know, again with that subject, um, again, there's there's not many people who are willing to talk about it, so you're never going to hear it. So again, like like I said, with uh, during BMW, I was really the only one to say anything. Um, I remember walking onto the range and I had Brianna Taylor and uh, Jacob Blake on my shoes and I got asked by three different people, who are they? So to me, that again proves the point of why I'm doing it. So um, like I said, there's a lot of work that needs to be done, but I think everything's going in the right direction and what I can do, what my family can do, what my team can do, we're gonna do as much as we can, even though again, it's a small portion of the whole entirety of the golf community, so. Do you like being one of the players that does step up and use that platform to, to, to get their point across the day? It's not that I like to be. It's something I feel like I have to do. Obviously, I, obviously, I like it because it's it's who I am. It's it's, but it's like I have to do that. It's um, again, it's a subject again that hasn't been brought up since everything's happened. It just gets kind of pushed to the back burner like it does always. So, um, just trying to keep it going and trying to again create more uh, foundation around it to get it going and get it building. Because um, like I said, I mean, it's only. You know, social injustice or equality of race, it's, it's only talked about whenever bad incidents happen, um, which is kind of unfortunate, but, um, you know, like I said, just got to keep pushing.